Are you looking for a better stand for your Roland SPD-SX Pro, SPD-SX, or even just any sample pad? I think I might have found it. So if you're familiar with Tama, you'll know they make absolutely solid hardware. I've been using their Road Pro series for over 15 years now. Still absolutely solid. It's like brand new, a couple of scuffs, but you know, it does not budge. The hardware is solid, really user-friendly, and I really like it. So when I found out that Tama had brought out a Road Pro series electronic pad holder, I had to check this out. So there's two variants of this, right? There's the whole thing where you get the actual Road Pro stand and the boom arm, and that's called, excuse me here, the Tama Road Pro Electronic Pad Stand HPS80W. Yes, rolls off the tongue. So that's what that one is, right? And then there's a second version, which is just the, the boom arm that clamps onto like a cymbal stand or some other existing stand. And that one's called the Electronic Pad Holder MPH63. Okay, so basically you've got the full stand or just the boom arm that clamps onto an existing stand. And I really couldn't decide which version of these to get. I was like, some gigs, I know that the whole stand is gonna be perfect. And I know for other gigs, I'm gonna be wanting to like clamp my pad off of a, a stand. So I was like, man, I really don't know which one to get. So after a bit of digging and trying to find out some information about these, I found out really that with the pad holder, the one that's just the, the boom arm and the clamp, it's just the boom arm from the full stand plus this clamp. Okay, so what I've done was I purchased the full thing and I also purchased the clamp. So the clamp itself is called the MC66 and that's actually a combination of two things as well. It's essentially a fast clamp that you put like a tom arm or something like that into and then it's also like a little sort of symbol um, swivel thing. It's this, it's this right here. Okay, so if you're familiar with Tama stuff, you realize that this bottom part right here, that's your fast clamp. Right, so this bit goes on the cymbal and then that holds for like your tom. And then this part right here is like just for a boom, some sort of cymbal part, right? So it literally just locks in like that and there you go. So this thing was really, really cool on its own because you can then set off like, you can clamp cymbal boom arms onto existing cymbal stands. So you could have like two cymbals coming off the one stand. Um, and then you can also use it now for this Tama Road Pro stand to get the boom going off to get your SPDSX mounted off uh, a cymbal stand. So if you're like me and can't really decide which one's the best bet or you want the versatility of both, having a full on stand to hold the pad and being able to mount it off something else. And if you're into the Tama ecosystem, right, their, their clamps and stuff are really, really good. I do like them. Uh, so this is a really cool way to get the best of both worlds. And let me tell you about what I've been doing previously. So I just recently got the SPDSX Pro. Previously I had the original SPDSX and it's been almost 10 years that I had that. And what I was doing to, to mount that, I was using this thing here, which was Roland's, what's this called? The APC33, another name that just rolls off the tongue. So what I was using, I was, I was clamping this off of a cymbal stand. But what I was doing was I was taking the very top of the cymbal stand out and then mounting the pad and it would just sit above the, the top of the stand. So it was solid and it didn't move, but I was kind of giving up a cymbal stand to be able to do that. So with getting the new SPDSX Pro, I finally bit the bullet and I bought this Tama Road Pro stand. Now there's always a few thoughts about this, right? It's a boom stand. So first of all, that's great to help you get in the positions that you want. We all want, I think I did anyway, I want the sample pad to be sort of in that second tom position, right? above the bass drum. But the problem with the existing stands, like the one that Roland has, first of all, it's really expensive. And secondly, it doesn't have any sort of boom arm. So it's just sort of a straight stand, just exactly what I was doing with this clamp on my cymbal stand, right? So I didn't really want to spend money on a stand like that. So with the boom arm, right, you get the positioning of that. And then secondly, you might think, well, is it stable? Because boom, whenever you boom something, right, you, get, you lose a bit of stability because that center of gravity is becoming further away from the center. So it's not quite as stable as a straight stand, but I, I think it's worth it to get the, 
the extra flexibility of being able to position it wherever you want. So if stability is your main thing, then I guess a straight stand is good for you. But if you want to be able to put the, the pad literally anywhere you want it, then you're gonna lose the tiny bit of stability, but it's still really solid. Like there's a tiny bit of flex as you hit it, right? But I mean, it's kind of like what a drum does. If you see those drums that are mounted off of a cymbal stand, right? You've got an undrilled bass drum and your toms are mounted. You get a little bit of bounce in those toms. So if you're used to that, this isn't really gonna be any different to that. If you're the person that that bothers, right? And you like to have the drilled bass drum with the toms mounted on the bass drum for stability, then this is probably not the stand for you, I would say, right? But overall, I am loving this stand. It's really well made, it's Tama quality. The price is right. It's a fair bit cheaper than Roland's one, for example. And yeah, that's about it. There really isn't anything online about this. There's Tama's video, which is like a minute long video, which is, I mean, it's okay, but there's not like any real world reviews. So I just wanted to give you my thoughts on this and that's pretty much it. Yeah, it's a good stand. It's really the only one that gives you that boom option. And then you can also get the clamp to go with it. So you've got the stand and the clamp as well. So you can use it however you want to. So yeah, that's it for today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.